Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to solve some of the world word problem application in trigonometric function. So one of the problem is, says, a hiker measures the angle of elevation to the mountain peak in a distance at 28 degrees, moving 1,500 closer on a level surface. The angle of elevation is measured to be 29 degrees. How much higher is the mountain peak than the hiker? So first thing we will do is we have to draw the diagram. So we have to draw a triangle. Okay, 90 degrees triangle or a right, okay, right triangle. So first one is, says that a hiker measures the angle of elevation to the mountain peak in a distance at 28 degrees. So therefore, this one is equals to, we have 28 degrees. Okay, angle of elevation is from the horizontal going to, we have the hypotenuse side. Next, moving 1,500 closer. So therefore, from this point, the hiker moves 1,500 closer to the mountain peak. So meaning, for example, this one is our mountain. Okay, this one is our mountain. So we have the hiker. Okay, so the hiker move 1,000 feet closer. So therefore, we have 1,500 feet closer to the level surface. Now, the angle of elevation from this point going to the peak of the mountain is equal to, we have 29 degrees. The question is, how much higher is the mountain peak than the hiker? So the hiker is already here. So we are looking for what is the height now of, okay, what is the height of the mountain? What we're going to look here, so we have the height of the mountain. First thing that we're going to do is we are going to look or we're going to determine this distance. So we'll let x for this distance from here, from this point going to this point. So back to our trigonometric functions we have the sine theta is equals to opposite okay over hypotenuse we have the cosine theta is equals to adjacent side over the hypotenuse and then we have our tangent theta is equals to we have the opposite side over the adjacent side so from here given we have this one is the opposite, this one is our hypotenuse side, the long side, longest side of the triangle. This one will be our opposite side and this one will be our adjacent side. So the given here is the opposite over the adjacent because we are looking for the height. So therefore we can use now tangent theta equal to or we say tangent 28, tangent 28 equal to degrees equal to h, okay, all over by 1,500 plus we have x. And then the other one, we have as well tangent 29, okay, 29, okay, 29 degrees equal to h over the value of x, h over x only because we have this distance here the value of x. After that, so let's try to solve. We can have here h is equals to tangent 28, okay, tangent 28 degrees times 1500 plus x, and then the other one h is equal to we have tangent 29 degrees times x. Okay, so by this given we can have substitute or we can substitute the value of h because we have two values of h given so we can use the other h to we have solved for one unknown only so therefore we can use now as this one okay so we have so that we can have bigger space so you will have now okay so again we'll draw the diagram 
okay 90 degrees this one is just we have this slant is equals to or this elevation is equals to 28 degrees and then this elevation is equals to 29 degrees and then this distance is equals to 1000 we have 500 we're looking for this one which is the value of x and then this one is the height which is equals to h so our equation now we have uh, h is equals to tangent we have 28 degrees times 1500 plus x right and then the other one we have h is equals to tangent we have 29 okay times degrees times x and then we'll let h equals to this one so therefore you will get now tangent 29 degrees okay x equals to tangent 28 degrees times 1500 plus tangent we have 28 degrees times the value of x so you have to distribute now tangent 28 inside of 1500 plus x so therefore we can get as common okay so the common here is the value of x so that we can move tangent 28 so tangent we have 29 times x okay minus tangent 28 okay degrees x equal to tangent we have 28 degrees and 1500 and then we factor out now the value of x so therefore we can have x times tangent 29 degrees okay minus tangent we have 28 degrees equal to tangent 28 times 1500 after this one we can divide both sides by okay you divide this one by divide this one so you divide by tangent 29 degrees minus tangent 28 degrees okay and then after that one tangent we have 29 degrees minus tangent we have 28 degrees and we can cancel out this one so therefore x is equal to how much is that so therefore you have to calculate that one how much is that value let's see so we get that one when you calc calculate the tangent 28 degrees times 1 5 and then all over by tangent 29 degrees minus tangent 28 so we get 35,000 okay 291 okay to 35,200 we have 91.04 and then after that we get already the value of x we can choose this we have to find the value of h right this one this point therefore you will have now h is equal to tangent we have 29 degrees times 35 we have 1291.04 so therefore you have the tangent 29 times we have times the answer which is will give us the h is equal to 19,562.144 we have feet right because this one is in measure of feet so therefore this is how we will get now the height of the mountain so when you're going to check that one so you try to get all the informations especially when you're going to solve for problems like this one let's try another problem that we're going to solve okay so problem number two okay next problem from a point a that is 8.2 meters above the level ground okay so we have point a okay so we have the point a that is we have this point is says that 8 point meters therefore 8 point meters or 8.2 meters above the level ground so let's say this one will be our okay so this one will be our level ground okay this one is our level ground here the angle of elevation of the top of the building is 31.33 so therefore this is our level ground okay there is a building okay 
there's a building okay so let's have a building here Okay, the building, and then this says that the angle of elevation, so the angle of elevation going to the top of the building is equal to, this one elevation is equal to 33, or 31, I mean, so 31.33 degrees. And the angle of depression is that the angle of depression is from this side, okay, going to the base of the building, so therefore the base going to the basement right to the base of the building so you will have now the base of the building is here which is will give you this one elevation is equals to 12 so therefore we'll just try to make it a little bit smaller right the base because the angle of elevation there is only 12 okay so we'll make that way Okay, so the angle of depression here is equals to 12, okay, 0.83 degrees. Okay, so this height, okay, this height here, okay, this height from the base, okay, so we have this one, this height is equals to 8.2, we have meters, right? Now, the question is, approximate the height of the building so we will look for the height of the building what we are going to use so therefore you will have now tangent we have 12.83 degrees equals to we have the x here so that we can find this distance so that we can solve for the h so first thing you will do is we have 8.2 over x so therefore you will have now as 8.2 divided by 8.2 divided by tangent we have 83 so x is equal to so x is equals to 36.005 or let's say 01 so we have the value of x now after that you can compute now the value of h given that we have the h and then we have the opposite side and then we have the adjacent side so therefore we have tangent 31.33 equals to h over 36.01 so h now will be given as so our value of h okay h is equals to we have tangent we have 31.33 okay times we have 36 okay 36.01 okay or 36 only so we can have now as equals to Okay, how much is that? Let's check. Okay, so therefore, the H now is equal to 21.91 plus the base, which is 8.2. So therefore, the total height now, the total height, height of the building now is equal to, we have plus 8.2. Therefore, we get 30.11. So that is the height of the building. So if you have some questions and clarification about applications, so we'll try our best. I'll try to do my best so that we can share a lot of uh, word applications, okay, and word problems for mathematics or mathematics lesson, especially in algebra too. That's all for today. Thank you so much and God bless.